Hello you hopeless romantics, I'm going to show you how to make a heart balloon in Blender. So the first thing you want to do is you want to add in a circle, go into edit mode and then rotate it on the X axis by 90 degrees. Grab your circle, move it away from its origin, come across to the modifiers panel, add a mirror modifier, turn clipping on and squish those circles together. There we go. It's kind of looking like the top of a heart. Grab this bottom vertice here, press O to enable proportional editing, and then we're going to grab this on the Z. I'm going to bring it down and increase the area of influence. So there we go, kind of a heart shape. And then we're going to do the same again. We're just going to reduce the area of influence just to smooth this out into more of a curve there. Next thing we're going to do is control F to grid fill. And we're just going to change the span a little to maybe five, no, six. Next, what you want to do is you want to come onto the side axis and just move everything forward ever so slightly on the Y. Next, enable the Y axis mirror. And now we can see we have two sides to this. In edge select mode, select the outer edges and then extrude them on the Y axis. Switch to vertex select mode with number one and then control I to select everything else. Come into your object data properties, add a new vertex group and call this pressure and then hit the assign button. With proportional editing off, Scale this down a little bit and add a couple of loop cuts. Next, apply the modifier. Back in edit mode, select the bottom most vertice and control shift B and just make a small little hole and extrude that. Scale Z zero to flatten it. Extrude it again and just scale that up. Select this loop around here. Create a new vertex group. Call that pin and assign that. Next, come into the physics properties and hit cloth. We want to enable the pressure and set the pressure to maybe 20. Set the vertex group to pressure and in shape, set the pin group to pin. Under your field weights, set your gravity to negative one. Come into your modifiers panel, add a subdivision surface above the cloth. So that's a viewport levels of two. Next, press space to start playing the animation. And all you gotta do is just let it settle. Press W to shade smooth. Once it's settled, you can apply the cloth modifier and then come across into sculpt mode. Use the elastic deform with the X and Y mirror set. And then all you need to do is just grab your balloon and just adjust it to the exact shape that you want. Next, you want to make a new material. And we'll start by making it metallic. We'll pick a nice pink. We'll put the roughness down to 0.1. Next, if you want to add a string, all you need to do is go to curve, maybe NURBS curve in edit mode. So all we need to do with this is just simply create a knot and then the geometry extrude it by 0.01. A new material for this, we call it ribbon and let's just make that a nice light pink. Now all you need to do is frame it up and render. And there you have it, a nice Valentine's balloon. If you want to see more like this, hit like and subscribe.